what kind of game? How about we play superhero versus Mad? Not so monster. Oh my. You're the monster and the superhero. What? How do I be the monster? I've hit that point in my pain cycle where my mood is really, really um, tiring and my patience is minimal and it's not good for parenting. Um, it's not, it doesn't lie within the guidelines and the principles of how I feel about parenting and it really, I find it really difficult. And I think it's often just exhaustion um, and pain is, pain is exhausting. <laughs> and then there's loss of sleep and everything else that goes with it. And it doesn't matter how much but aren't counting to turn and praying sometimes you you do snap and sometimes it's reasonable and sometimes it's not reasonable and I'm <coughs> working on it I've had to re apologize to Leo and restart quite a few times because of different discussions which have taken a slightly argy tone from me but we're all right aren't we are we a team yep do we deal all right together he's moved on he's just busy singing I can only handle so much, so thankfully we have this little woodland near us and it's really nice and both the boys just like being here at literally not even five minutes from my house and I know I can dawdle it and as soon as I start feeling bad I can make my way back. There we are, one big card. We'll lay it up. Da -da -da -da. Yeah. There we go, that's the big card. One of them is a discussion challenge and one of them is a math challenge. Which one do you want to do first? The math challenge? Cool, let's go. Three and three and three and three. And three. And three. How many rows of three are there? One, two, three, four. Yeah, so the answer is there would be four rows of three pine cones. So we know that it made four rows of three. And, and that's then. awesome. And now it's made one, two, three, four, five, six rows of two. <laughs> Card this time is about scarecrows. Okay, scarecrows are sometimes seen in fields where crops are growing. Scarecrows often look a bit like a person standing up tall and straight with their arms stretched out. They are made to scare birds away from the seeds and plants and they are often dressed in old clothes and stuffed with straw. Have you ever seen them on movies or anything or in the fields? Oh. We don't really use scarecrows around mommy, here anymore, mommy. do we? I've seen it on Hey Doggy. So you know of scarecrows. There aren't that many people who make scarecrows that look like that anymore. There's lots of other gizmos that help keep birds away. Mummy. Yeah? How about we make a scarecrow? You want to try and make a scarecrow? Yeah, but instead, instead, instead of a human, we're gonna, I'm going to make a dog one. You're going to make a, scare, a scarecrow dog? I'm going to make... A scarecrow Noah. A scarecrow Noah. <laughs> and you can make it scarecrow Addy. Sure, what material shall we use to make it? his uh, challenge prompt out of the box this morning where we read about uh, scarecrows and we had a quick chat about where we knew them from because we don't really have it even though we're in Devon our scarecrows here aren't like traditional scarecrows there's other structures and things like that turbines and little like small things that keep moving anyway <coughs> he's still coughing a lot despite having all of his <coughs> but hey ho we're keeping an eye on it anywho uh, Leo decided that it would be a really good idea to do some crafting and to make our own scarecrows for our display and he didn't want to do generic human ones obviously um, so he's done a golden retriever and I've done a cat <laughs> and we're both quite chuffed aren't we but the objective was to make them look a little bit like keeping to the very autumnal goldy colours and stuff like that and yeah and we went through the paper drawer and the junk drawer and I even found some like 
shredded newspaper. <laughs> Very useful. I went for shredded newspaper. You went for lots of shiny gold, didn't you? And we're nearly done. Looks a lot like a fox, actually, doesn't it? What? Okay. <laughs> it does. It gets you up. <laughs> A clock for a nose. In a clock for a nose. Here's my scarecrow cat. I'm happy with him. Ta da! Oh, Leah, that's so smart. Do you, are you happy with it? Yeah. Yeah, let well, me see. I go with the bee lying down oh, yeah. in the soil. Oh, yeah, he's lying down in the soil, protecting the birds and bugs, so the plants from the birds and bugs down there. Mm -hmm. And my cat will be held slightly higher up, scaring the crows and things like that. Ah! What a team! It's ready. Ready. It is very, very tricky one, isn't it? Uh -huh. so can you find ready on the page? Ready. 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 They're ready. Good boy. I am a little better, I think, yeah. So the pain's not quite as bad and substantial. I can stand a little bit easier, so it's a bit nicer. So I'm going to do a little tidy up video to help me as well. Um, dishwasher is on, washing machine is on, trying to catch up, tumble dryer is on. I've had to slow down a little bit now. But while I have the energy, I had this, I saw this thing on Pinterest, I wanted to give it a shot. And um, it's essentially it's just making autumn jelly to play with it's like a sensory thing it's really simple it's foraged bit plus gelatin basically that's, that's what i'm trying to do right now he's uh set him up to watch his program and i'm just going to keep stirring this because i have no idea when it's going to be ready because i've not really used gelatin in this manner before should we go with that and hope for the best some goodies and obviously he's not going to eat this he knows not to eat it and i'll put just that amount now then i'll when i pour it in i'll just mix it slightly to lift it up through oh actually it saves it from just sitting there doesn't it oh dear me wake up sarah it's just not very colorful so i'm pulling out some of these to make it slightly more interested these are just like things that we use as counters that I pick up here and there so I think I'm gonna add that I've got some I knew these were in here I knew it there we go I've got loads of little leaves that I bought leaf buttons that I bought ages ago counters I'm gonna pop them in just for a pop of color and probably some of these little glittery stars <laughs> they see you they see you all three of you are you just funny little babies I think you're just funny little babies aren't you we decided to come out to the park. It's blustery and it's been raining, but that's fine. We found an interval where it's not raining. And we're gonna have a little play. And by we, I mean, I'm gonna stand. I encourage... Oh, you've slipped! And you've got your trousers on back to front still. Out for quite a lot longer than we thought we would be because um I'm gonna sit down and open it now. You wanna try opening your box ready? Okay, fair enough. Um yeah, we went outside, it was really nice, had a little play, and then we bumped into one of the lovely guys who lives on the estate. He's quite quiet, except for when he gets talking <laughs> and he quite we get we like him, he's full of stories and he loves sharing stories, and we were there for over an hour. <laughs> but it was nice just telling us about um about some a plot of land that he owns and how he recently saw a deer on there. Yeah. Oh my gosh! And so and and hedgehogs and man. Yeah, no, he rescued. No. He rescued. It's alright. He's not going to pinch the scissors, Leo. No, but if he did, it's fine. Imagine how awful. That yeah, I am. That's very true. Imagine how awful it would be. Yeah, he rescued some hedgehogs. He wanted to show Leo some pictures because he put a little camera out there. And he's a really great guy. He's a retired marine. He just kind of trundles around the estate, the estate, and tidies up some of the grassland and the parkland. <laughs> really nice. <laughs> And he's very fond of 
in what universe do we need two huge pairs of scissors and some pinking shears? Anyway, yeah, after talking to Bob for a little while, sorry the camera cut out there, so I don't know where I got cut. Anyway, um, and we uh, and we helped a, a lovely blind uh, young lady who lived on the estate. She seemed a little bit bamboozled, so we helped her through. Got back, somehow I've got some energy, and we got back to a parcel. So Leo's quite keen to give you an unboxing, aren't you, bud? Mm -hmm. If you can just excuse the utter wreckage of our house, enjoy the unboxing with us. I can I can see like five pairs of scissors on this table. Is it necessary? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Also, Leo, just to clue in you, darling, darling, we can actually open it slightly easier than this. Okay, we can just open it like this. I'm going to try really hard not to reveal but our address. I'm, I'm got, I'm you want to do it that way? Okay, you do it your way. I know you want to see the boxes too. Movie snoot. So rather than it being an unboxing, it ended up being more like a box deconstruction. Um, it's still being torn into now. You're going to make stuff out of it. Mm -hmm. with, with box transformation. Is that what you wanted? You wanted... No, I don't want you to cut the sides out. Oh, okay, I was well, just getting rid of the wet bit. Holes. What, for eyes? Yeah. And what do you say you're turning this into? A David mask. A jellyfish mask. Mm -hmm. Cool. The tentacles. The tentacles. There we go, buddy. There's the basis for your jellyfish. Whoa. Right, anyway, in terms of unboxing, I picked up this. It's a... A Work Clean Pirate Activities book. This actually isn't for Leo. Leo, this is part of a birthday present package that I'm making for a birthday of one of Leo's besties that he's going to next week. Um, so I'm glad I spotted that. You see, I love the book, people. There's all sorts on there, but that's an Osborne one, and I love anything by Osborne. Um, the Enormous Turnip, because we need this as part of our school thing for this month. We're going to be doing a whole, I think probably a week on doing activities related to the enormous turnip as well and it's first readers edition as well so that's always going to be a good one for our collection <coughs> blessing to you sir this one um i think this one was going to be another birthday present um i'm quite happy with that i think it's really cool <coughs> or it might be a present that i might put away while he's busy looking the other direction Herbie's Big Adventure! Storybook, it's another one that's been <laughs> recommended to me. Another one for us for autumn, make sure we've got enough seasonal bookies in. This one is another birthday present um, for a birthday on Saturday. This is going with another, the yo-yo that she's that's asked for, me. for Evie. That's no, it's not, it's for Evie, for Evie's birthday on Saturday. Hmm. It's called Fantastically Great Women Who Made History. And it's an activity book. And it looks amazing. However, my love, if you would like a copy of this too, I can get you one. Not a copy. You want it too? I'll get. I'll reorder you another one then. And then I also got this bumper book pack of um, it's kind of like kids science type things, but it's very loose. I think it's more factual with a bit of story kind of storybook style. We love books like this, but I realised I didn't have anything on the seasons, which is a bit strange. I mean, I think I've got loads of Christmas storybooks and stuff like that, but nothing seasonal specifically. Um, apart from, I think I've got, an, we've got an Easter storybook, haven't we? Um, so it's one thing having, like, seasonal storybooks, but another to have things which are <coughs> very, very specific. This was the reason I found the package, was for this book, a Stroll Through the Seasons, and the illustrations are really beautiful, and it's storybook style. This one's actually been recommended to me, but in the rest of the bundle, and I think the bundle's only like six quid, uh, we also have Amazing Animal Babies. Yeah, I thought that would catch your eye. Yeah, you looked into <coughs> that one. <coughs> Mr. Coffee Camps. Coffee Camps? Coffee Pants. Hey, Incredible Rainforest. Yeah, I thought you were going to look up and for that one too. <laughs> that earns a smile. The Awesome Night Sky. Yeah, I know. Pretty cool, right? The Amazing Life Cycle of Butterflies. He was like, yeah. Amazing Life Cycle of Plants. Yeah, that's another nice one. Yeah, I thought so. The Great Big Water Cycle Adventure. Whoa! Yeah, see that one got a whoa! Definitely a home edders reaction. And a wonderful world of weather. So quite a few of them could tie into our autumn and our harvest festival, I think, anyway. And he seems really chuffed with all of those. Um, I'm, I'm well chuffed with the big package in particular. Um, I'm, I'm a liability usually on book people because everything is that much cheaper and I could just fill more and more and more bookshelves. Um, However, we do not have room for bookshelves. 
I would like to make room for bookshelves. I might put some nice, just pretty shelves up in here and hope for the best. See if Darren buys into it. We need something. I just can. Craft box them. rummaging. Okay, I can make room. <laughs> There's those. That's mostly storybooks, and we have learning books in the big unit. However, we have. We're overspilling now because there's hardly any space. So in the end, I think we'll have to pull out all the books out from there, keep it for resources, and find another way. We do have a whole unit out there, which is where we keep our novels and DVDs and stuff like that. Um, but I think we may have to overhaul. He's moved the spinner. You unwedged the spinner. Now he's doing stuff. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Anyway, that's the haul. Hello. I'm gonna go and put these uh, uh, one in the gift. Well, the ones that are gifts in the gift pile. Uh, the ones that are anything else, so I'll put where they need to be. Happy days. I love me book people. I, whenever we have them through the door, I get both excited and then anxious, and I end up putting them in the recycling before I have a chance to look. I only go on the book people if I if I'm actually after something. <laughs> Otherwise, I just use money I haven't got. To be fair, all of this came to barely anything because they, they had like a deal on, so I was well chuffed. <laughs>